Hello my friends, my name is TS. Today we're visiting Green Bank Observatory in Pocahontas County, West Virginia. And I'm here visiting with my mother, Miss Kay. Say hi, Miss Kay. Hi, Miss Kay. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> so there's the Science Center, and then they give a bus tour to take you down to the observatory so they let you video in the science center but they won't let you video when you go down and see the telescopes because uh, even the battery from a camera will mess up uh, what they're doing down there so we just watched a video presentation and the tour guide explained some things about the radio telescopes and it is just so awesomely cool so you can get some going in. yeah Oh, well, you'll be on the bus. So the tour guide did say that we could, the tour guide did say that we could video just a little while until we reach home, reach the gates. You see this telescope right here? That one was built in 1937 by a man named Grote Reber, R-E-B-E-R. -E -E so he built that telescope in his backyard and it, the, the base of it is wood. So he built that in 1937 himself from, you know, he got the pieces from his hard, local hardware store. And he, um, in 1941, he was the first person to map out a contour map of our Milky Way. I'm gonna pull up here and get out and open up the gates. And beyond these gates, that's where you would have to turn off your battery operated um, devices. That bus tour was amazing, amazing. Um, I'm really sorry that I couldn't video any of it. The Green Bank Telescope is the main radio telescope here though. Eight radio telescopes and three of them are in operation. The Green Bank Radio Telescope is huge. One really interesting thing about this area is that this area was chosen for the radio telescopes because it is surrounded by mountains, which creates a natural area for radio frequencies to not interfere with the telescopes. Uh, we couldn't even take our cameras near the telescopes. The people who live in this area, their microwave ovens might interfere even. There's a Dollar General store near, near this area, and they had to have special paint on the front of their building to keep the radio waves contained within their building. So that naturally means there's no cell phone towers in the area either. They also have a really great gift shop with really cool alien inspired items. Little green, little green men found what I'm buying today. So now we're gonna head back into the science center. For first lunchtime from the Starlight Cafe. We got an Italian sub, and it was delicious. Uh, how's your Italian sub, Mom? Marvelous. Marvelous. This little room is It's crazy. Can you hear me? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> you sound like you're right here. You do too, and it sounds like you're coming from the bridge. You sound like <laughs> you just sound like you're right here in front of me. I'm leaving. Okay, we're leaving. So we have fun, Mom? We've had fun. Well Whisper dishes are cool.
Good time. We had a good time. And this was better than Cass Railroad. And if you want to see a video about Cass Railroad, I will put it right here. So take a look at that. If you like what I'm doing here, slap the like button, hit subscribe, and watch more videos. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs>